There is a major pain point in the photography industry with copycats. And theft is an issue that photographers deal with often. Um, we often have our photographs stolen. It might be by clients. Um, it might be by other photographers. It might be by businesses. So often we are faced with people stealing our photographs. But another issue that is very frustrating for a lot of photographers is when they get their content stolen. And so by content, I mean words from their websites, ideas from their social media, people shadowing and copying all types of marketing efforts, a lot of things like that. So when I was asking photographers what they wanted to see and hear on my blog and on YouTube videos, a huge theme was how to be different and how to deal with the copycats. So for how to be different, I think it's very important to be introspective, to look into your past and to know exactly how you're different. I think it's important to know who you are and what makes you that way. So when I was starting out, with my photography business, there was somebody who was extremely similar to me, who had a very, very, very scary similar um, story of how she grew up, the horses she rode, the horse shows she went to. We had very similar stories. And so from the get-go, like starting from the gates of my business, that forced me to be extremely introspective about what I offer this space, what I offer my clients that nobody else in the entire world can. Even if they look like me, even if they talk like me, even if they have very similar life experiences, there is nobody in this world who has been shaped exactly who, how I've been shaped and has the gifts that I have. And so I wanted to know exactly who I was so that I could understand how and why I was different from anybody else. The next thing that I think is very important to being different is to source your inspiration from outside of the industry. I think it's important to be inspired outside of the industry, which means not following a ton of other photographers, not following even a, a ton of people in the equine industry itself, but to look at other businesses, other spaces, how they are marketing, how they are communicating with their audiences. You can go and look at Nike. You can go and look at Disney. You can look at big brands who do this very, very successfully or who pay bajillions of dollars to PR agents and marketing agencies. Um, or you can look at smaller brands, other small businesses close to you and near to you. One thing that I love to do when I'm trying to brainstorm marketing ideas is to think of my business as if it were a different business. So how would I market to somebody if I were a restaurant? What are the types of things that would matter? Personally, word of mouth, in my opinion, is everything in the restaurant industry. What if I were a clothing boutique? What if I wasn't selling you pictures, but I was selling you clothing? Or what if I was XYZ, whatever, it could be service-based, it could be product-based, Whatever it is, for me, when I am brainstorming my own marketing strategy, I'm always saying, what if my business wasn't photography? What if I was trying to sell this? What if I was trying to sell this? What if I was trying to sell something different? I think that that puts me in a very creative space to try to apply that same method into my own business. I think it's important to be aware of your competition, and I use air quotes on competition because personally I don't really think any of us are in competition with each other. I think it's aware, it's important to be aware of what's going on in the industry and aware of what's around you, but not to copy. And there's some really big reasons for that. Number one, you have no idea what's working. You have no idea if that paragraph they have on their website is working or that Instagram caption is working or where they're showing up at XYZ conference or retreat is working. It may be, it may not be, and more importantly, if it's working for them, it likely won't work for you because you're probably a different brand going for a different slice of the market. And that's the other thing is that in any type of business, not just photography, in any type of business, you don't succeed by copying the major players. I watch Shark Tank all the time and they are always emphasizing that there's no success in coming and entering the space, doing the exact same thing as everybody else. They're always applauding people, praising people, encouraging people to enter the market in a completely different way, to revolutionize what has been going on, to find the hole in the market where there is lack, where there is nobody, and to enter that space. So I feel like I built my entire business doing the complete opposite of what my competition was doing. Seeing what other equine photographers were doing 
and building my pricing the opposite, building my sessions the opposite, building the actual product and the pictures themselves nearly the opposite of what everyone was doing. And I attribute so much of my success into offering something that nobody else was offering at the time. So when I encourage other people to be different, that's how I say to do it. Find the whole. Never look at somebody who is being successful and try to catch sloppy seconds or, you know, like what is falling over from them. Attack a brand new piece of the market where nobody is and make that your home. Make that your own. And one of the things that people also talk to me about is what to do about copycats. And that is difficult. I understand um, how difficult it is to be copied. I think it's really important if you're emotionally upset about it to take 24 hours, take 48 hours. Um, if you need to, take screenshots, send that to your lawyer. If the copying is blatant and it's bad, I think that you should be taking legal action or at least be advised by a lawyer on any action that you should be taking. Um, but a really big part of it is I think that copying unfortunately comes with the territory and it's got to be water off your back. I think that if you spend any time letting it affect you personally, that's all it's going to do and that's all it's going to be is um, bringing yourself down. And so I would just encourage you to stay positive um, and just Understand that any time that you spend resentful, you're only ruining your own day about it. So I would just try to stay positive, try to stay innovative. If people are copying you, that probably means that you are ahead of the curve. And so that motivates me to stay ahead of the curve. If I make tweak A to my website and all of a sudden I see that same tweak on five more people, that motivates me to move on to tweak B. That motivates me to refresh my own content um, and to stay ahead of the curve there. So. I hope that helps.